I remember going to a birthday party that was ice skating and I couldn't participate. My knees couldn't withstand the demands of the ice and I couldn't do the gliding motion of the skates. So I kind of had to sit there like I did a lot when I was younger and just watch a lot of kids do the things that I wanted to do. And a lot of people would think, well, it's just ice skating, but when you're younger and it's the winter time, everybody goes ice skating like every other weekend. My condition started when I was eight. It's called osteochondritis desiccans. I would be on the soccer field and one day I came off when I was eight years old and I looked at my mom and I said, my knees hurt. I was like, I can't. I can't, I can't do this anymore. And as I got older, I kind of just like played through it because I loved the sport so much and I didn't want to miss out on anything. So I would say 12 years old, we came to HSS. And I saw another doctor here who performed a surgery called a microfracture where they drilled uh, tiny little holes in your patella and other surrounding bones. And they tricked the body into thinking there's an injury there so that blood will go and hopefully help heal the issue. Now that bought me a lot of time and a lot of pain-free moments, but when I got to 10th grade, I, the pain was coming back. I was like, I just, I just can't do this. So I, I kept going. Beginning of my freshman year of college, I went back to that doctor who did my surgery and I said, you know, you did wonders for me when I, you know, you helped me be a kid at certain points, but the pain is just coming back and I, I don't know what to do. Gianna was referred to me by a friend and colleague here at HSS who's a, a pediatric orthopedic surgeon and she was 18 at the time, this was over a year ago, and she had pain, she said, for as long as she can remember, she grew up with pain. We ended up doing a cartilage transplant for her and at the same time repair some of the bony changes that had happened. Recovery time, I was non-weight bearing for a good six weeks. So it was hard, I think it's important for a lot of people to know that recovery is just a piece of a lifetime that you can have without that pain. At the five and a half week post-op time, I already, like, I already felt the difference. I already knew that this pain was not gonna last long, you know. So since I was put in my second brace and it gave me more mobility, I went in the gym every day, even on crutches, and I was able to lose 43 pounds. Yeah, so he definitely gave me my life back for sure. And she came back and, and she said, this is literally the first time in as long as I can remember that I don't have knee pain. And that's the greatest thing. Someone who, you know, grew up with this pain, you want to find your answer. And anybody with a chronic situation knows that sometimes there is no quick fix. So I learned that very quickly. But I asked Dr. Gamal at the first appointment, I said, is this going to be my answer? Is, am I going to be done? Is this going to be my end game? And he said, well, it all depends on your definition of success. I go, I just want to be active without having pain. I want to be able to walk up that flight of steps without having to take a break in between at you know, 18 years old and feel like a 90 year old woman. He looked at me and he said, well, if that's your definition of success, that's what we're going to try and reach. And he never gave me a false, a false impression or a false picture of what the surgery was going to be and it didn't turn out that way. Exactly what he said was going to happen or how I should feel is exactly what happened.